Here we go again. It's banter blitz time. I am clicking on three in the chess 24 play zone as I speak to you. And hopefully I will find a worthy opponent where we can learn something and more importantly talk about it and win. Let's see who we got. We got Arcadia 1694. That's not gonna happen because Arcadia just aborted the game. That's so sad. Let's try to find somebody else. Play now three minutes. Play me, ladies and gentlemen. I am distracted because I have to talk. We got guest 88449802. Shouldn't reward guests. Sign up, people. But I will play him and crush him for not being a registered member. He plays an interesting setup with e6 and b6. Can do all kinds of things here. e4 is a principled move. a3 is more of a quiet approach, which I've also played. Knight to c3 and queen e7 is too sophisticated for my understanding. f5 is the move they normally play here. Now I'll seize the center. The point of a3 was not to allow any bishop to b4. Thing is trying to build up some hippopotamus kind of position with knight d7, g6, bishop g7. Oh no, he castles queenside. That's kind of tempting fate, isn't it? <laughs> I'm gonna readjust immediately and try to open the A-file. He gives me a pawn with g5, which looks aggressive, but it's not that many targets to hit there on the g-file, so I believe I'm doing quite well here. Bishop h6 might be a decent move, trying to get some pieces out. I'll go a5 and continue with my plan of opening the A-file and checkmate him. Knight to b8, okay. <clears throat> Let's take this guy, a takes b, and now I wish I was a slightly more gifted attacker, which I'm not. I'm going to go d5, trying to eliminate the knight coming to c6. I want to go rook a7 and maybe queen to a4, but first I got to do some business in the center. He played f5, opening it up. I'll go knight d4, pronouncing hopefully the weakness of his construction. e takes d5, I'll go knight takes f5. Eating some more pawns, queen f6, c takes d. Haven't really succeeded in checkmating them, but I have succeeded in doing something. I'm much better at eating some pawns with a pretty decent position, and I'll castle into it to make, make it exciting. I don't think he has a serious attack on the g file, though, between you and me. He goes queen to g5. He is trying to checkmate me, which I don't appreciate, but I can't blame, blame him all that much for it. It is kind of the goal of the game. Should probably do something active myself at some point, maybe knight b5, rook c1. But I will live up to my chicken nature and secure the king side first. Keeps bothering me, this guy. I'll play as passively as humanly possible, go king h1, knight d7. Now I feel like I should wait, make one active move at least with knight b5. If it goes knight e5, rook to c1 could be a bit unpleasant. At least it looks that way to me. And if knight takes f3, maybe I will switch to attacking with queen takes b6, which looks quite promising. I've been a bit slow talking all this nonsense, so I should speed up a little bit at some point. Queen g5, he doesn't threaten mate, so I will go queen takes b6. Quite like my chances here. I gotta, say, gotta tell you, guest 88449802, Play very creatively, created some counter chances, but two pawns are two pawns. And objectively, I believe this castling into it with long castles can't really be the way. He goes c5. It does not stop my threat though. So I'm, I won the game, checkmate. Thank you guys for watching. I don't think I have any instructive last words, but I checkmated him, so that's good enough for me. Thanks, bye.